Hi everyone, thought I'd give you a quick update on site. We managed to get the roof on yesterday. We had the crane here. And one of my sons is just over there loading out some blocks for the brickies who are coming on Sunday to uh, just top out the next scaffold lift. So I thought I'd quickly show you around, show you what's been happening. So the bricklayers have been on here four days. And they've done really well. So you can see we've got all the roof on. Uh, we just had to put that steel beam on the other day because that came right at the last minute, uh, the day before the roof came. So we had to put that on. It's pretty heavy, 400 kilograms, but we managed to lift it up, me and my two sons, with a bit of, bit of willpower and a bit of grunting. But uh, it wasn't too bad, actually, to be honest. And then we've got the trestles up there just for the bricklayers to, to work on tomorrow uh, while they do that. So this is just all one open plan room, you can see. Uh, we've got all the wall plate on there. That's going to be strapped down. Uh, to stop the roof blowing off and then this room behind me is like the sunroom we might put uh, a big skylight in there one big skylight it's going to cost about a thousand pounds but it could be a thousand pound well spent uh, and i think it make a really nice selling feature when it comes to selling the property which will go on the market probably in about six weeks or so so i'll show you from this way because you'll be able to see it a bit better so you see the gaps there they're open for uh, the dormer roofs. So we've got two on the back here, one on the front, and we've got a couple of V-looks at the front as well. Uh, these are gonna be 1900 wide, so quite big dormers. Uh, and make it look really nice in the side when they're done. And then we've got two big sets of, they'll either be French doors or with a side panel or bi fi doors, I'm not sure yet. We'll be ordering those in about a week or so's time. But really nice because it's south facing. Um, so really, really hot. But yeah, it's looking good. So this really has only took, uh, five days from ground level, believe it or not. Yeah, plus the scaffold. So four days for the brickwork and a day for the roof. That's a week to get to this stage from, uh, from the floor slab, which is pretty incredible. We've sort of not working on it a full time, so you sort of lose track of how many days you are working on here. Uh, we've got all the block and beam flooring, we've got all our pipes in ready for our utilities, water pipes in, that's in already as well. And then this will be the garage in here. Once they come and do the second scaffold lift, um, we'll put the scaffold around this garage as well. So the trusses are already here for the garage. These are the little tops that have got to go on the main trusses right up there. Uh, let's just have a look at the scaffold. Got sweat on, boy. So you can see, just laying out the bricks and blocks ready for the brickies. To so give you a bit better idea, looking through the roof. So look, what an amazing space you get. We could have put normal trusses on here, but we went for one and a half stories because it sits between a bungalow and a house. Uh, and yeah, it's just a real great use of the space. And what we're going to do on here is this will stay traditional brick and block, and then this part will go onto timber frame. So we'll put some OSB boarding on here, vapor barrier. And then this will all be insulated from inside with Solitex or Kingspan. So the bricklayer is just going to put a brick skin around here up to the face and soffit height, which we'll work out in a bit. And then there's the big lintel that we showed you earlier. There's just a skin of brickwork to go across there. And this extension is just a flat roof. And this is where we might put the big uh, glass dome in there. This will just be a fiberglass roof on the back here. Pretty, you know, they're just sort of 25, 30 year guarantee. Once they're on, they're done. Just maintenance free, just so much better than normal felt. And there you go, you can see. Just a better one. Better for you. So the other thing we're doing is, we've put all our floorboard up here already, because we're gonna deck this out tomorrow. And we use this stuff called Cable Deck. And then when we're all finished, and all the plasters have been in, paint has been in, we just literally peel this off, and it leaves us with a real nice clean floor, just ready to put our carpets down and we've got all that dust um, traveling through the house. So one of the things you will see on here is we've got some big gaps between there and then there's another one right down that end there. And in there's gonna be um, some dormer roofs, 1900 wide. So really wide dormer for, for dormer roofs they are, but they're gonna give real nice views out onto the fields and get the sun all day. So you know, when those rooms are done upstairs, they're gonna be really nice. And the stairs are going to come up through the centre. We've got two bedrooms over there. We've got a master bedroom 
over there, a water wardrobe, an ensuite, there's a family bathroom up there, and the sort of landing just comes in and splits both ways as you come upstairs. So really, really nice. And there'll be some Velux windows in there as well um, to let a bit more light through. So this place is going to be really nice when it's done. Uh, we've only really been on this, I guess, well, three weeks, I guess, two weeks for the groundworks, uh, and about a week just to get to this roof on. Uh, and it's probably going to take us another two or three weeks to get all the roof on finished. There's a lot of work in these dormers with all the cladding and getting all those done. But you know, if the weather stays like this, we should make some good progress. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll have got scaffold going up next Tuesday, and then bricklayers will come back and do the gable lifts. And they're only going to be here probably another day after that, and then they'll finish topping out, and then we can start felt and battening. But the good thing is, once we get this felt and battened. Uh, if it does rain, we can drop back inside and start doing some stud work and, we, and my son will start doing all the first fixed pipe work for the heating uh, and then our sparky will just drop over here as well. So we've got stuff we can get on with, you know, whatever the weather's doing. Uh, and all that floor will be done as well, so I'd say we can come up and start putting some stud work up and bracing and insulation and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll give you an update in another few weeks. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll get back to you.